Hi, I'm Sarah Allison, Senior Product Manager for Mitsubishi Electric Heat Pumps and Air Conditioning. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi heat pump control to your home's router. At this point, your Mitsubishi Electric heat pump installer should have connected the Wi-Fi adapter to your heat pump. If you have previously had a Mitsubishi Electric heat pump installed and would like to have Wi-Fi control fitted, then please contact us for a list of approved Wi-Fi adapter installers who can retrofit this to your heat pump. The Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi adapter requires a WPS enabled router to communicate with. If you do not have a WPS enabled router, you will need to purchase one to connect to your home's existing router before continuing. Please see www.mitsubishielectric.co.nz forward slash Wi-Fi for a list of compatible routers. The first step in connecting your Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi adapter to your router is to ensure your Wi-Fi is enabled and WPS mode is activated. This is where the Wi-Fi adapter shares the router's connection information. Routers differ from model to model. Some have a button you simply need to press while others will need you to enable WPS in the router setup from your computer, or to use a menu from the router. Please check your router's manual to confirm how WPS is activated on your router. On this router, WPS is available, and there is a button on the back labelled WPS. For this particular model, we push the button for 3 seconds, and the WLAN button flashes to indicate that WPS mode is activated. Please refer to your router manual before holding down the WPS button. On some models, holding down this button for an extended period causes your router to reset. On most routers, WPS will only be enabled for a short time, giving you a few minutes to complete step two. To begin, above your Mitsubishi electric heat pump, you will find your Wi-Fi adapter. Use a small object, such as a paper clip, to push down and hold the WPS button for two seconds. On the other side of the adapter, you will see three numbered LED lights. After a short period of time, the top light, LED1, will start to flash. This indicates that the adapter is trying to communicate with your router. You will know the adapter has started communicating with your router when the top light stops flashing and remains solid for around five seconds. Next, you should see the bottom light, LED3, start flashing. This means that the adapter has successfully connected to the router and is now trying to connect to the internet. Establishing this connection may take up to 10 minutes and LED3 will continue to blink throughout the process. When LED1 and LED3 begin to flash alternately, the connection has been completed and your heat pump is ready to be used remotely. If after 15 minutes you do not see LED1 and LED3 flashing, a problem may have occurred during this connection process and we recommend you restart the process again from step 1. If at any stage during step 2 you see the orange LED2 light up, this is an indication that there is a problem with the router communicating with the adapter. If this occurs, you may need to check that WPS is working on the router, that the signal is reaching the adapter, DHCP addresses are available, and that the router is compatible with the adapter. You can restart the connection process at any time by starting again from step one. The final step before your Wi-Fi heat pump control is set up is to register your heat pump. You can do this by either downloading the Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi app onto your smartphone or tablet or by visiting www.mitsubishielectric.co.nz forward slash Wi-Fi. The app and website will ask that you register as a user first. A confirmation email will be sent to you to verify your account. Once registered as a user, you can add your heat pump by pressing Add New Unit. Enter the MAC address and ID number for your adapter. This information will have been recorded in your user guide by your Mitsubishi Electric heat pump installer. You can add multiple heat pumps to the one account. 
each heat pump you wish to add will require a Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi adapter. Adding multiple units to your account allows full control of all the heat pumps in your home. You can even add heat pumps in different buildings, such as at your office. Now your heat pump is completely set up and can be controlled by your smartphone, tablet or online. It's important to note that it may take up to one minute for a command to be actioned by your heat pump. This is due to the time it takes to send a signal through the Mitsubishi Electric server to your router and then to the heat pump. Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi operates bi-directional control, so your heat pump will communicate back through your app to confirm that a command has been completed. Now you're ready to unlock the convenience of Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi control. You can now control your heat pump from anywhere, meaning less energy wastage and never coming home to a cold house again. We really hope you enjoy using this product.